arrive here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room awaiting the departure of the Dragon cargo craft for the SpaceX CRS-26 mission. The spacecraft has been docked to the Harmony module since its arrival on November 27, 2022 after launching atop a Falcon 9 rocket on November 26. We are currently awaiting the final go for undock around 3.50 p.m. Central Time. Once the go is given, we are looking to have an autonomous undocking for the Cargo Dragon. Commands will be sent from Hawthorne, California at 4 p.m. Central Time. It will take about five minutes for latches and hooks to open for Dragon to depart the station. Again, departure time is 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time. You're currently seeing a dual view. That's SpaceX Mission Control in Hawthorne, California on your left and Mission Control Houston on your right. Both are working together hand in hand while we await Dragon's departure today. Once Dragon is released, Dragon will slowly depart or drift away from the space station to perform a number of burns and prep for the deorbit burn scheduled for 3.35 a.m. Central Time early Wednesday morning. The piece of Dragon that actually will survive the deorbit burn is its capsule. The rest will burn up upon re-entry of the Earth's atmosphere. Again, we're looking for an approximate splashdown time on Wednesday, January 11th at 4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time, off the coast of Florida. And we're currently about 12 and a half minutes from that Dragon Undock command. And again, about three minutes out for that final go-no-go -no -go poll around the room here in Mission Control Houston, as well as SpaceX's Mission Control in Hawthorne, California. Leading today's undocking here in Mission Control Houston, we have Flight Director Ed Van Seis. And to his right is the CAPCOM or the Capsule Communicator, Megan Harvey. Station Houston on Space Ground 2. All right. Uh, we estimate it's going to be about 30 minutes until we get you a galley back. Okay. No worries. We appreciate it. Thanks for your understanding. The Dragon and the International Space Station are currently flying 263 statute miles above Kazakhstan. Again, we are looking for that final go-no pole to go right about now, and we're looking in about 10 minutes from now for a Dragon undock command if given the go.
NASA astronaut Nicole Mann finished up preparations for Dragon's departure about an hour and a half ago, closing Dragon's hatch around 2.02 p.m. Central Time, 3.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Nicole Mann launched to the International Space Station as commander of NASA's SpaceX Crew-5 mission aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon Endurance spacecraft on October 5, 2022. Also on board, continuing with Expedition 68, consists from the left are NASA astronauts Frank Rubio, Roscosmos cosmonaut Dmitry Patelin, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAX astronaut Koichi Wakata, NASA astronauts Josh Cassida and Nicole Mann, and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Anna Kikina. If you're just joining us, we're live in Mission Control Houston as we monitor and wait for the undocking for Dragon Cargo Craft, the SpaceX CRS-26 mission. We are currently a go for undock and we're looking for the command to be sent from Hawthorne, California at 4 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Once the go is given, we are looking to have an autonomous undocking for the Cargo Dragon. Commands will be sent from Hawthorne at 4 p.m. with departure time at 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2, Dragon is go for undocking and departure. Station copies, great news. And that was Capcom Megan Harvey to astronaut Nicole Mann on station. We are go for undocking. Again, we are about five minutes out now from Dragon to be sent the undock command. Once the command is sent, it will take about five minutes for latches and hooks to open for Dragon to depart the station. Departure time is 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Once it gets released, Dragon will slowly start to drift away from the space station to perform a number of burns and prep for the deorbit orbit burn scheduled for 3.35 a.m. Central Time early Wednesday morning. Approximate splashdown time on Wednesday, January 11th is at 
4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time, off the coast of Florida. and we're three minutes away from Dragon Undock command being sent. After that command is sent, again, we'll be about five minutes for the latches and hooks to release Dragon and separate it from the station. There will be a series of small burns, undock, two undock burns, followed by some departure burns, giving some leeway for Dragon to safely distance itself from the International Space Station. We'll have some milestones that come up after Dragon departs the station. That first milestone will be to cross the Keep Out Sphere and then the Approach Ellipsoid. Again, the Keep Out Sphere is an invisible line around the station monitored by the flight controllers used to govern vehicles approaching and departing the station. The Keep Out Sphere is 200 meters radius and then the Approach Ellipsoid is 4 kilometers by 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers around the station. The keep out sphere allows for four orbits of safety if the vehicle lost control and the approach ellipsoid allows for 24 hours of safety if we lost control of the vehicle. After the vehicle crosses the approach ellipsoid, joint operations will end and will wrap up coverage and the responsibility of the vehicle is handed back over to the SpaceX flight control team in Hawthorne, California. Again, that approximate splashdown time is Wednesday, January 11th at 4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time, off the coast of Florida. We will not be on air for the deorbit burn or the parachute-assisted splashdown, but you are able to keep track of this mission and its final descent back to Earth on blogs.nasa.gov forward slash space station. And we're now just one minute out from the undock command. Undock sequence has been commanded.
Umbilicals are demated. We are still seeing, we are currently have no views due to uh, no KU to the International Space Station at this time. However, we will have views of Dragon as it departs about 9 after the hour. So that's 4.09 p.m. Central Time. We should see views of Dragon as it... Station Houston on 2 for Dragon. The first set of hooks are open. Dragon is committed to undock. Station copies. You just heard Meg and Harvey to the station. We have the first set of hooks detached from the from Dragon. We're waiting for another set of six hooks to unlatch to release Dragon from the International Space Station. Again, we'll have views of Dragon around 4 p.m., 4.09 p.m. Central Time, 5.09 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're just joining us, about four minutes ago, the undock command was sent to release the CRS-26 resupply vehicle from the International Space Station. We are currently awaiting that second set of hooks, six hooks to release and demate Dragon from the International Space Station. We currently do not have views of the Dragon spacecraft or the departure. However, we will have views about five minutes from now at 4.09 p.m. Central Time. Station Houston, all hooks are open. And Dragon separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of Dragon. Copy, we see it. Timer started. Copy, timer started. And that was confirmation of a nominal separation from Dragon from the International Space Station at 4.05 p.m. south of Manila.
Station Houston on two, Dragon departure burn zero is complete. Station copies. Again, we have confirmation uh, separation of the cargo Dragon vehicle from the International Space Station at 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time, and the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 258 statute miles above the southeast of Manila. We should have views of Dragon as it de continues its departure at 4.09 p.m. Central Time. 5.09 p.m. Eastern Time. Just a minute ago, we had an, a call from Capcom. It's in station. We see station in a good config. We concur. That was a good configuration from Nicole Mann aboard the International Space Station as she continues to monitor Dragon and its departure. We had a good depart burn zero at 4.05 and 25 seconds p.m. Central Time, and we'll be looking for depart burn one about five minutes from now, excuse me, three minutes from now at 4.10 p.m. Central Time, 5.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, a couple of milestones will be coming up for Dragon. That first one will be for Dragon to exit the keepout sphere. You're currently seeing the first views we have today of Dragon after its departure from the International Space Station. Dragon is about 144 meters away from the International Space Station at this time. Again, we are looking for it to exit the keepout sphere about 200 meters away from the International Space Station. That should be coming up here shortly in just about a minute or two. And we currently see firings of Dragon as it conducts its Depart Burn 1. This is to last just about 16 seconds. 
excuse me, 22 seconds, changing the relative velocity as Dragon continues its departure. Station Houston on two, departure burn one complete. And that was a nominal departure burn one. Station Houston Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Woohoo! Station copies. Nice work, Dragon team and Houston. We appreciate it. Thank you, Duke. And that was Capcom Megan Harvey to. NASA astronaut Nicole Mann aboard the International Space Station. Dragon has exited the approach ellipse, has exited the keep out sphere. Next up for Dragon will be to exit the approach ellipsoid. Again, you're seeing live views of Dragon from the external camera from the International Space Station. Dragon is currently 286 meters away from the International Space Station at this time. If you're just joining us, you're seeing live coverage of the Cargo Dragon spacecraft as it has departed the International Space Station just about 10 minutes ago. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere and we are currently awaiting for it to exit the approach ellipsoid. Again, these are two invisible lines around the International Space Station that govern vehicles that come and leave the International Space Station. And 
Dragon's journey to the International Space Station began on November 26 when the spacecraft launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from the Space Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The spacecraft lifted off over the Florida coast with more than 7,700 pounds of science, investigations, and supplies to begin its journey to the International Space Station. Originally slated for November 21st, the launch was moved to November 22nd, where the launch was scrubbed due to bad weather. Dragon was successfully launched aboard the Falcon 9 rocket on SpaceX's 26th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station four days later on November 26th. And Dragon autonomously docked to the International Space Station on November 27th. The Dragon spacecraft carried scientific experiments and technology demonstrations that explored growing plants in space, creating nutrients on demand and in-space construction, plus many more. The largest element of the cargo load was NASA's second pair of new rollout solar arrays to augment the space station's power system. The Iroses were installed on two separate spacewalks on the exterior of the International Space Station on December 2nd and 22nd. Again, we are looking for Dragon to have a deorbit burn at 3.35 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, January 11th, followed by a parachute-assisted splashdown off the coast of Florida at 4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time. Dragon will be carrying back to Earth approximately 4,400 pounds of supplies and scientific experiments designed to take advantage of the space station's microgravity environment. To recap some of today's events, at 4 p.m. Central Time, the undocked command was sent from Hawthorne, California. Cargo Dragon had a successful undock at 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time. As Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 259 statute miles above, below Southeast Manila. We confirmed Dragon was out of the keep-out sphere at 4.11 p.m. Central Time, 5.11 p.m. Eastern Time. And our next immediate steps, we're looking for Dragon to cross the approach ellipsoid, and we're looking for that to happen around 4.24 p.m. Central Time. After exiting the approach ellipsoid, that will end our coverage for today. Um, we will not be 
live for the deorbit burn or the parachute assisted splashdown off the coast of Florida. However, you can follow along and keep up with what's happening on blogs.nasa.gov forward slash space station. Again, that final splashdown off the coast of Florida will be around 4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time. If you're just joining us, you're seeing live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where we have just watched as Dragon departed the International Space Station. Just a recap again, if you missed it, flight controllers on the ground sent commands to release the uncrewed SpaceX Dragon spacecraft from the Zenith port of the International Space Station Harmony module at the time of undocking at 4.05 p.m. Central Time, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time. The station was flying at about 260 statute miles off the southeast of Manila, Philippines. The Dragon spacecraft successfully departed the space station and will return home about 4,400 pounds of scientific investigations and supplies. After re-enter Earth's atmosphere, the spacecraft will make a parachute-assisted splashdown off the, off the coast of Florida on Wednesday, January 11th. We will not be broadcasting the splashdown, but updates will be posted on the, H the agency's space station blog. That's blogs.nasa.gov forward slash space station. Again, thank you for joining our live coverage of what's going on 250 miles above the Earth. We're signing off now. This is Mission Control Houston.